Today, Streamlabs is excited to announce Streamlabs Music, a brand new free music library in Streamlabs desktop full of DMCA safe music for your live stream. And today, I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about it. Here we go. What is up all you awesome streamers? Wow, here making you bigger and better with everything Streamlabs. Let's just start with the basics. What is Streamlabs Music? Streamlabs Music is a free add-on available through Streamlabs App Store. It allows you to play copyright free music on a live stream directly within Streamlabs desktop. With Streamlabs Music, you get access to hundreds of tracks that are safe for you to use. And we have a wide range. Everything from EDM, indie, to lo-fi, even game-inspired playlists like Minecraft and Call of Duty. And the best part about this, check this, is it's all free. No subscriptions required. Now I know I piqued your interest, so let me show you how to use it. To get started with Streamlabs Music, you need to download the app. Go to the new and improved navigation bar in Streamlabs Desktop and click on the App Store. Next, click on the Tools category to find Streamlabs Music or simply just type it in the search bar and click on it and install. A screen requiring you to sign up for a Lyft account will appear. Just type in your email address and check the terms of use box to accept. The Twitch profile section should automatically be filled out here if you're logged into Streamlabs with your Twitch account. If you stream to Twitch and YouTube, ensure your respective channel is linked and pasted in both sections. Once you've clicked Get Started, you can now browse all the different playlists and music genres that we offer. Now you might be asking, do I need to add Streamlabs music as a source? You do not need to add Streamlabs music as a source for your music to be played on your stream. To play the music on your live stream, all you need to do is press play in the app. Now you can add Streamlabs music as an audio source, which is great if you don't necessarily want to hear the music through your speakers, but still want to play it on your live stream. To add Streamlabs music as a source, you can either click on the button that says add as an audio source in Streamlabs music app itself, or click on the plus sign next to the sources in the editor. Clicking on the add as audio source button in Streamlabs music app will add the source to all of your scenes in the selected scene collection. Now, please note, if you have a lot of scenes and don't want Streamlabs music added to all of them, we don't recommend clicking this button as you'll have to go into each scene and delete the app source manually. After you add the source, a window will appear asking you to name it. We recommend calling it Streamlabs music or music, something that'll be easy for you to remember if you have to make any changes. From here, you can select three different options. Monitor only, which is the mute output, this source will show up in your mixer, but your viewers will not be able to hear the sound. Monitor off, which is the source will not show up in the mixer, but your viewers will be able to hear the sound. Monitor and output, which is a source that will show up in your mixer and your viewers can hear the sound. If you ever get confused or are unsure of what to use, we recommend that you go with monitor and output. This way your audience can hear the Streamlabs music, but you can quickly click the speaker icon in your mixer if you need to mute the app. After you add Streamlabs music as a source, you'll see a notification that says music added to all scenes. Remember that if you create any new scenes after this point, you will need to go back in and manually add Streamlabs music as an audio source. Now, if you've made some adjustments and it's not just working right, let me give you a quick troubleshoot. You may make changes to Streamlabs music and those don't changes reflect immediately. Sometimes you simply need to restart Streamlabs desktop. You can also click on settings, then installed apps, then reload under the Streamlabs music app. Doing this will get you up and running. If you have any questions about Streamlabs music that weren't answered in this video, feel free to contact us at support in our Discord server. Now, like I said in this video right here, Streamlabs music is free. Yeah, no subscription, so give it a try. You got nothing to lose. It's probably gonna be one of the best things you can introduce to your stream and content creation. Wild, always here, giving you the best advice that I can to make you bigger and better with Streamlabs. If you need any more help, of course, I'm gonna toss a couple of videos here up on screen that's gonna make you better with your content and live streams. Wishing you the best of luck, take care, and as always, peace.